Yeah. The number one, uh, uh, well, the future number one real estate agent in the world. Let's go. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'm going to tell you right now why it's the best. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. It's a whole Hello, hello, everybody. We are here in Pinecrest. As the saying goes, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. Well, actually, today we're talking about the song, right? And it's only fitting that we talk about the song in Pinecrest Gardens. You see, a lot of people ask me, what inspired you to create the song? Like, how did you come up with it? Did you come up with the lyrics? Who did the beat? What's like the story? What, like, how was it? How was it like creating a song? And today we have footage of the day, that actual day that we recorded. And I'm gonna tell you basically the whole entire story because this has always been a dream of mine. And I think it's just something that I have to put out there. So maybe my future grandkids, they could see this video and see how we ended up creating this song. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. So if we're gonna tell this story of how it came about, we have to go really far back. So we gotta go back to when I was a kid, like a little toddler, yay hi. I always love singing and dancing. It's something that I've always loved to do because dancing and singing brings out joy, it brings out happiness. And that's just always been who I am since I was a little kid. I've always loved music. And this is something that's a little hidden, nobody, nobody knows, but I used to make YouTube videos of me singing and posted them on YouTube. But you can't find them anywhere now, but that's just something that just goes to show. I've always loved music. So I figured why not mix two of my passions, mix music and real estate together, both my passions to create something super special. And that's where ideas started getting in my head. All right, so we are working on a project where uh, this is like day one of where we're making music. Um, I figured we'd make music for certain areas, a song for an area like Pinecrest is the first one, then Core Gables, but a song that goes with the place, that flows with it and tells a description about the location because what better place or but what better way to describe something than through music and i've always loved music so i figured i mix music something that i've always loved with real estate and now we're here outside of a studio and i have my girlfriend's brother uh christian he's in there waiting uh let's check it out so built your satisfaction i want to move to pie chris here we are christian in the studio day one with Christian making music so from real estate to music we're gonna combine the two let's see how it plays out this is the type of house you spend all your days in 340 look at danger the place your fan plays burn a mansion on the water gives you space to play customize and finish to make it your way man I still remember that song and that like it's stuck in my head it's one of it's still like one of my favorites because that was like the first time I explored the idea of mixing music with real estate and we made it for that specific house and it was a parody and I honestly that was literally like I did it my, all myself. So I used GarageBand on the iPad and I had the obviously the, the chorus or rather the, the song structure from Miami and we just made it a parody and I created the lyrics and everything and even tried to use some auto-tune in there too. Uh, but I did it myself and that was such a fun project to try and sell that house. Uh, and then we did end up selling it too, which was actually pretty cool as well. But that really sparked the idea. And then one day I was at home in the shower. What? Crazy story, in the shower. And I thought, maybe, you know what a cool idea. Instead of doing a song about a house, why don't we create a song about every area in Miami and it'll kind of be like a, a neighborhood jingle that whenever someone thinks of that area, they think of that song. And that, that was the idea, right there in the shower. You won't wanna stay for just a season. You put your kids in the best schools in the area, A plus education. Now, God works in mysterious ways. There's, I don't believe in coincidences. I mean, things just happen sometimes so perfectly and too perfectly. Now, after that moment in my shower, my epiphany in the shower of this great idea, I'd say a couple weeks later, uh, I'm just starting to date Elise, my girlfriend, and I happen to meet her brother. 
and we're there at like a family gathering at my girlfriend's parents' house. And I'm just met the brother and we're talking and I'm like, and I'm like, hey, what do you do? Whatever. And he's like, hey, I make beats. And I'm like, no way. I have this crazy idea that I really want to start making music for like for real estate to like sell like a neighborhood. Like I want to make neighborhood jingles for every neighborhood in Miami. And he's like, let's do it. And I'm like, let's do it. And then we started getting like putting that thought into action and we set up a time to go and meet at the studio and this is where the fun happens. Like it's maybe not you could do a different, a different you're, okay. you want it to be exactly like that, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. You want it to be okay. like that? Yeah, so I'm thinking, could I, could I do like, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I could have that kind of tone or I could be like, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. But yeah. that sounds like Macklemore, right? I could go off of Mac. No, it's that I like that because it gives it a little bit more, more emotion. Right? Yeah. Because uh, I can't, this isn't a song where I would be like, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I mean, you it's, could do that. Yeah? Yeah. Want to try it? Yeah. All right. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'm going right now. What? It's, it's the best. It's not Miami, yeah. it's Pinecrest. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'm going to tell you right now why it's the best. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. It's a whole lot better than the rest. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. 12 schools in town ranked highest. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. Just look around and you'll never. Man, I felt like a kid in Disney World in that studio. It was unbelievable. And like coming up with the lyrics, like just like the whole experience was an experience I will never ever forget. And that's why we're gonna keep making music, right? Uh, so it's really cool because we did the first studio session. In between then, you saw the second one too. In between then, I had to come up with the lyrics. I came up with the lyrics. We went to the studio, recorded the verses, right? But the verses, I, I always just show up with the lyrics and we kind of just fine tune things there on the spot. It's really cool to be able to show you guys uh, this uh, this content and, 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 and like how it was created, right? But uh, after that, you know, we released the song we created the music video the music video we showed people not only saying it but showed people what the lifestyle is like here in Pinecrest uh, and that's that goes perfectly with the idea that we have right and so we're doing that for all the songs that we're creating in the future song and music video and then after the music video the Miami Herald got wind of the uh, song and they actually interviewed me right here in Pinecrest Gardens about the song. They sat me down on the interview, wrote an article about me. Like, it was just, it was crazy. It was surreal. And now people come up to me and they're like, it's not Miami. And I'm like, it's Pinecrest. And everybody has this joke that they say to me like, oh, you're gonna do like, it's not Miami, it's Core Gables. And I'm like, no, not funny. We're coming up with original songs for every single area. And so I urge you, if you're watching this and you have these crazy ideas, just put them into action because you know, if you're if you're fueled by these things, these different things, they motivate you and inspire you to be a better person. And uh, it just keeps it keeps it fun. It keeps work fun. Right. So with all that being said, I think this is the perfect time to announce that we are releasing a song about Brickle, that Brickle life on January 13th, 2023. We are starting the year with a bang. And you're gonna be singing that brick of life everywhere. You're gonna be singing it everywhere. I'm telling you, when you think of Brickle, you're gonna think of that song. I'm super excited for it to release. Of course, on January 13th, we're releasing the song on all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, you name it, it's there. And the music video will be releasing right here on this YouTube channel, January 13th. And don't forget to go and stream It's Pinecrest and Welcome to Miami Beach. Both our songs that we have so far, you can stream it on all platforms. We are everywhere. And if for those of you who are curious, like how do you get it on all these platforms? DistroKid. DistroKid, and this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by DistroKid, but DistroKid is the way that I can put it on everything. iTunes, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, like everywhere that you can imagine the songs will be on. So thank you once again so much for, for thank you. Did that make any sense? Yeah, it was just me saying thank you. Go down, subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the support. Peace and love, peace and love.